Hi, good evening, Jocelyn. How are you? Good evening, how are you girls? Good evening, Araceli. How are you, tell me? Fine. Okay, excellent. And you? I'm good, thanks for asking. Um, I think that I'm going to get sick, but I feel pretty good. <clears throat> okay I <laughs> no me I mean I've been feeling a, ah, like oh. I, I don't know if it's going to be sore throat or something like that or probably the flu but I'm feeling kind of sick oh but I'm the type of person that I'm hates sorry. going to the hospital that's okay don't worry about it En lo que va del año no me había enfermado hasta ahorita, creería yo. Así que. Good night, Miss. Hi, good evening. I know. Good evening. <laughs> <laughs> I forget it. <laughs> That's okay, don't worry about it, Jocelyn. Okay, uh, we are going to begin with our class. Do you remember what did we study yesterday? Is for already and yet. Okay, excellent. We were studying already and yet with the present perfect tense. And what did we say about already? Uh, affirmative sentences. Okay, excellent. That we are going to use it with affirmative sentences. And how about yet? Negative sentences and question. Perfect. We are going to use it with negative sentences and with questions. Okay. And good evening. Hi, good evening, Saul. How are you? Excellent. Okay. That's really good to know. Okay, give me a few seconds. Okay. There we go. So we will continue today talking about the present perfect, but we are going to be studying the difference of the present perfect with the simple past tense. And in order to begin, we are going to listen to a conversation and then we are going to practice it. So let me just go ahead and share it with you. So here we go. And let me know if you can listen to it, please. Hi everyone, a conversation will be listened to in order to practice present perfect and simple past at the same time. Notice how they use both tenses during this conversation. Listen and repeat. Listen and practice. I'm sorry I'm late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can't decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. Is it good? It's delicious. I've had it several times. Or how about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. I lived in Thailand as a teenager. I ate it a lot there. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. Okay. 
actually I have. So this is a conversation that we have. Um, let me see. We are going to practice it. So we're going to have Giselle and Saul. I am sorry, I am late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Hi, you choose chosen a restaurant yet? I can't decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I am having is it good? It's delicious. I've had it several times. Or how about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have um, I live in Thailand. As a teenager, I ate a low trick beer. There. There. I did know that. How long did you lie there? I lived there for two years. Okay, thank you. So now we're going to have, um, let me see, Jocelyn, Marroquin, and Abigail. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Have you, have you chose a restaurant yet? I can't decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. Is it good? It's delicious. I've had it several times. Or how about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. I lived in Thailand as a teenager. I ate, I ate, ate it a lot there. I think canal that how long did you live there? I lived there for two years. Okay, thank you girls. So now we're going to have Jocelyn, Larin and Edwin. Okay. Okay. I'm Me. sorry. Oh yes. Continue. Sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm late. Had you been here long? No, I am only for a few minutes. Have you choice chosen a restaurant yet? I can't decide. Have you ever eaten? How do you say it? Moroccan. 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 Moroccan food. No, I haven't. Is it good? It's delicious. I we had and it several times. Or how about Thai food? How do you ever have green curry? Actually I have I live in, in Thailand. As a teenager I ate I ate it a lot here. I didn't know that how long did you live there? I lived there for two years. Okay, thank you. So now we're going to have Stephanie and Sandra. Okay, okay. I'm sorry, I'm late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Did you in a restaurant yet? I can't decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. It's good? It's delicious. I've ha had it several times. Oh, how, how about 
Thai food. Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. I live in Thailand as a teenager. 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 I. Teenager. I'm sorry. Teenager. I eat it a lot there. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. Okay, thank you. And we're going to have Delia with Monica. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. Is it good? It's delicious. I've had it several times. Or how about that food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. I lived in Thailand as a teenager. I ate it a lot there. You didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. Okay, thank you. And we're going to have Janet with Veronica. Yes, Veronica Moss and Janet. I'm sorry, I'm late. Have you been here long? Here long? Okay, sorry. I think that Janet cannot hear us. So I'll practice it with you. No, only for a few minutes. Continue, Veronica. Okay. No, only for. No, you are on the third one. Es en la tercera ya. Okay. Have you to have? How? Uh huh. Have. How you? How you choose chosen? Chosen. Chosen. A restaurant yet. Chosen a restaurant yet. I can't decide. Yeah, okay. yeah, usted va a ser Peter, and I'm going to be Mandy. So I can't decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. It is good. It's delicious. I've had it several times. Oh, oh how about that food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. I lived in Thailand as a teenager. I ate it a lot there. I didn't know that. How long did you live here? There. I lived there for ten, sorry, for two years. Okay. Thank you, Veronica. Okay. Okay. So I'll give you feedback for pronunciation. Um, okay, this verb. Estoy escuchando que me lo están pronunciando de manera diferente. El presente de este verbo, ¿cuál es? Choice. Choose. 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 Ajá, uh -huh. ¿y el pasado? We have choose. Chose, chose, chosen, okay, choose, chose, chosen, okay, um, let me see another one, aquí, si ustedes se fijan, es una pregunta, 
And this is a mistake that most of us make when we are learning a second language, okay? If you can see, the question is, is it good? Is it good? No está diciendo, it is good. So be careful on that. Is it good? And then we have, it's delicious. I've had, I had it several times. Okay, aquí tenemos, este es comida tailandesa, ¿verdad? Thai food. Okay, let me see. Thailand, teenager, ate, there, no es here, no, ni, ni here, I don't know, there, okay. Este verbo, ¿cómo pronunciamos este verbo? No. No, no. okay. Mm -hmm. Recuerden que la K es muda, no se pronuncia. So I didn't know that. How long did you live? Okay, live there. I lived there for two years. Okay, do you have any question? No. No questions? Okay, no. so not a problem. So let's continue. How many examples did you notice in simple past? ¿Cuántos ejemplos pudieron ver en pasado simple en esa conversación? Do you remember? Leave it. Okay, leave. Mm -hmm. Pero ahí está. Ok. Ajá, ¿qué más? Had. Ok. Ajá, ¿qué chose. más? Choose. Choose, chose o chosen. 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 Ah, ok. Entonces, ¿estaba en pasado o en participio? Participio. Past participio. Ok, en past participio. Lo cual me da a entender entonces que estaba en qué tiempo. Present participio. Ok, okay. excelente. Ok, just give me a few seconds. Okay, so let me share it with you one more time. Vamos a compartirlo una vez más. Okay, here it is. Hi everyone, okay. a conversation will listen and repeat. Okay, so here we have it. Uh, we have first of all the first question in present perfect. Tenemos la pregunta en presente perfecto. Have you been here long? Uh, then we have, have you chosen a restaurant yet? Um, have you ever eaten Moroccan food? Igual, estamos hablando de lo que es presente perfecto. Veamos la otra que tenemos en, pre en presente perfecto, ¿cuál es? Have you ever had a green curry? Ah, okay, excellent. What else? How long did you live there? How long? Did you live there? Okay, y esa está en pasado simple o en presente perfecto? En pasado simple. Mm -hmm. pasado. Okay, excellent. It is in simple past. ¿Cuál es la otra que tengo en pasado simple? Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? Um, esta, have you ever eaten Moroccan food? Está en presente perfecto. The one that I have in simple past is this one. I ate it a lot there. I also have, I lived in Thailand as a teenager. I lived there for two years. 
I didn't know that. Okay, so you can see that we are using the present perfect and we're also using the simple past tense. So we're going to go to the following information that is the grammar focus, the present perfect versus the simple past tense. So let's listen and pay attention. And let me know if you can listen to the video, please. Hello to all. In this lesson, we will learn when to use present perfect versus simple past. What we're about to watch is question form in present perfect. Notice the way to answer. Present perfect versus simple past. Use the present perfect for an indefinite time in the past. Use the simple past for a specific event in the past. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? Yes, I have. I ate it once in Paris. No, I haven't. I've never eaten it. Have you ever had green curry? Yes, I have. I tried it several years ago. No, I haven't. I've never had it. Curry? Yes. Okay, so you can see that here we have the difference between the present perfect versus simple past. Um, I saw Walter here, via Walter por acá, es aquí. Okay, Walter, can you read that information, please? Okay. Um, use the present perfect for an indefinite time in the past. Use the simple past for a specific event in the past. Have okay. you ever eaten? Sorry, same, continue. Have you ever eaten more comfort? Yes, I have. I had eaten once in Paris. No, I haven't. I've never eaten. Have you ever had green curry? Yes, I have. I tried it several years ago. No, I haven't. I've never had it. Okay, thank you, Walter. So you can see that here we have that we are going to use the present perfect for an indefinite time in the past. Tenemos que el presente perfecto lo vamos a usar por un tiempo o para un tiempo indefinido en el pasado. Y el pasado simple lo vamos a usar para eventos específicos en el pasado. So we have these two questions. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? Have you ever had green curry? And you can see the answers. Yes, I have. I ate it once in Paris. So, esta ya es una acción en pasada, ¿verdad? Tuvo su tiempo en el pasado y la cual terminó. In the second one, we have, no, I haven't. I've never eaten it. Estamos diciendo que no, no lo he hecho. Nunca he comido lo que es la comida marroquí. For example, okay. Then we have, have you ever had green curry? Yes, I have. I tried it several years ago. Or, no, I haven't. I've never had it. So, for example, if I ask, have you ever eaten rabbit? What did you say, han comido conejo? No, I haven't. I've never eaten Ah, okay. So what about garrobo? Have you ever eaten garrobo? No, I haven't. No? I never eaten. No. Ah, okay. <laughs> yes, I have. Ah, okay. Edwin. Yes, I have. Yes. So we have Edwin and Walter that they have eaten garrobo. Um, yes, I have. Oh, okay. And we also have Saul. Okay, so do you remember when did you eat it? Or how long did uh, you eat it? About, uh -huh. about 10 years ago. Ah, okay, so it was 10 I years guess. ago. <laughs> okay, how about you, Edwin? I don't remember, but I... 
maybe five years ago. Okay, five years ago. And how about you, Saul? Um, I do not remember. You don't remember? <clears throat> okay, don't worry about it. So you could you could see the difference. For example, uh, we have that Edwin, Saul, and Walter have eaten garrobo. Uh, Walter ate it 10 years ago. Okay, es una acción en pasado. Él lo comió hace 10 años. We can also say Edwin ate it uh, five years ago. O sea, es una acción que ya que tuvo su inicio y que de igual manera finalizó. Quedó en tiempo pasado. But probably they can eat the robo um, in the next days. O sea, probablemente dentro de los, bueno, en unos días, meses o años, vengan ellos y vuelvan a comer garro. Y para los que decían que no, I have never eaten it. Nunca lo he comido. Nunca lo he probado. ¿Ok? Que creería yo que es el caso de todas las señoritas. ¿Sí? ¿Sí? Yes. Yes. Ok. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I'm seeing your faces and I'm like... Yeah. <laughs> Le pego la cara y es así como que no, no lo haría. Ok. Excellent. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we are going to continue and we are going to be talking about the differences between the simple past and the present perfect. Okay, but before that, do you have any questions? No? No. Okay. So here we go. Okay, so you can see that here we are going to be talking about the present perfect and the simple past. Okay. So Douglas, can you begin reading please? Uh, okay. With a finish time yesterday or last week, we use the past. A arrived or saw or was a simple past simple. A plus finish time. We arrived yesterday last week at three o'clock and nineteen ninety one. Six months ago, and finished time yesterday, last week, six months ago. Uh, do not okay, use thank the you. present perfect. <laughs> thank you, Douglas. Sorry for interrupting you. Okay, so you can see that first of all, we have that with a finished time. We are going to use the simple past, okay? Con un tiempo que ya acabó, vamos a utilizar lo que es el pasado simple. So, for example, you can see we have the past simple plus finished time. For example, yesterday, last week, at 3 o'clock in 1991, and six months ago. O sea, ya todo esto quiere decir que ya acabó. Ayer... La semana pasada, a las tres en punto, en 1999, y hace seis meses. So, we arrived yesterday. We can say, we studied English yesterday. Okay? Uh, we drank coffee at six o'clock, for example. O sea, ya el simple hecho de tener estos adverbios de tiempo... Me da a entender a mí que la acción ya terminó. So you can see, we have finished time, that is in the past, yesterday, last week, six months ago, and now, ahora, o sea, ya todo eso queda en 
pasado. So let's see the following information that we have. Um, we're going to have Jocelyn Larin, please. Okay. Which? Uh, here. Oh. Do not use the present perfect have arrived, have done, had been, etc. with a finishes time. Only this. Continue with the next two examples, please. Okay. I saw Paula yesterday. Not I have seen. Where we're John Sunday afternoon, not where have you been? We didn't have a holiday last year, not we haven't had. What did you do the last night? I stayed at home. William Shakespeare live from lived, lived from uh, I don't know, 15,000? No, 15. I don't know how to say this. Okay, remember that with years, they will be divided in two. So we have 15, 64, 2. Thousand. No, no decimos el thousand. Sorry. Cuando estamos hablando de años, lo que hacemos es que lo dividimos en dos. Ok, so you say, he oh. uh, lived from 15, 15. 64, uh -huh. to 16, 16. Ajá, uh -huh. excelente. Oh. Ok. He was a great, he wrote many plays and poems. Okay, excellent. Poems. Thank you. So you can see, do not use the present perfect with a finished time. El presente perfecto no lo vamos a utilizar cuando estamos hablando de un periodo que ya acabó. So we have, I saw Paula yesterday. B. A Paula ayer. Yo no puedo decir no he visto a Paula ayer. Porque gramaticalmente no tiene sentido. ¿verdad? Where were you on Sunday afternoon? Not where have you been. No, ¿dónde has estado? El ¿Dónde has estado? Es más que todo cuando nosotros, bueno, cuando la acción no ha acabado aún. For example, we didn't have a holiday last year. No tuvimos vacaciones el año pasado. For example. Okay, so it says that we're not going to use the present perfect with finish time, okay? Si hablamos de tiempo que ya acabó, ¿qué es lo que vamos a usar? Simple, simple past. Excellent, simple past, okay? So let's continue. Jocelyn, can you choose another person, please? Okay, I can see, I don't know, Janet. Okay, Janet. It's here. I saw her here, yes. Yes, she is here. But I'm not sure if you can, if she can hear us. Yo creo que no nos escucha. Saul. Okay, Saul. Use the past simple to ask when or what time. When did they arrive? Not when how they arrive. Be okay. compare. Sorry, let me. Okay, go ahead. Continue, present, Saul, please. Present perfect. I have lost my key. I can't think it now, 
Bill has gone home. He isn't here new. No. Have you seen Anne? Where is the new? Time until now. Simple pass. I lost my key last week. Bill went home 10 minutes. Minute. 10 minutes. Minutes. Did you sing and on a Saturday? Finish time. Okay, thank you. So we have here this comparison chart. We have the present perfect and the past simple. I have lost my key. I can't find it now. Es algo muy común que nos pasa a todos, que perdemos la llave. I have lost my key. He perdido mi llave. I can't find, find it now. No puedo encontrar la hora. Then we have the past simple. I lost my key last week. Perdí mi llave la semana pasada. Es decir, ¿cuáles son las, las probabilidades a que la encuentre? We don't know, right? Then we have, Bill has gone home. He isn't here now. Es decir, que él no está aquí ahora. Then we have, Bill went home 10 minutes ago. If you can see, here we are using time. Acá estamos usando lo que es ya el tiempo, ¿verdad? Lo cual me da a entender que dicha actividad o evento acabó. Okay, then we have, have you seen Anne? Has visto a Anne? Where is she now? ¿Dónde está ahora? Did you see Anne on Saturday? Viste a Anne el sábado? No sé si esto está claro o si tienen dudas, preguntas. Entiendo que si en la oración indica tiempo, cualquier periodo de tiempo es que pasa simple. Correcto. Simple. That is correct. You can see that here we have this timeline. Tenemos lo que son estas líneas de tiempo. For example, past and now. Past, now, however, this is finished time. Okay? ¿Por qué? Porque aquí me está preguntando, ¿viste a Ana el sábado? Ya sábado ya pasó. Ya está como... Lo dice orden en el pasado. Pero si yo le pregunto, have you seen Anne? ¿Has visto a Anne? O sea, ¿dónde está ella ahora? O como que le preguntara, uh, have you seen Walter? ¿Has visto a Walter? ¿Dónde está él ahora? For example. And it would be different if I ask. Uh, did you see Walter yesterday? Vieron a Walter en la clase ayer? Yeah, it, it's just an example, Walter, so don't worry. <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> okay. Sí, no, no, es que, no es que pase lista todos los días, ¿verdad? It's just an example. Okay. Sí, o sea, aquí les estoy preguntando um, que si lo han visto. Let's see another example. Have you seen a movie? ¿Han visto una película? Puede que ustedes me digan, yes, I have or no, I haven't. Pero si yo les pregunto, did you see the movie last night? ¿Vieron la película anoche? You can tell me, yes, I did or no, I didn't. Y ahí yo ya estoy usando lo que es tiempo o un adverbio de tiempo, lo cual me da a entender que esa acción terminó. ¿Ok? Ok. So, let's continue. Um, let me see. We're going to have, um, let me check. Okay, Giselle, can you read this information, please? Okay. Have you ever been to Spain in your life until now? My friend is a, a writer. He has written many books. The letter hasn't arrived yet. We live in Singapore for six, for six years. We live there now. 
Thank you. Stephanie, and can you continue? Simple. Okay, continue, please. Okay. Uh, did you go to Spain last year? Uh, Shakespeare wrote many plays and poems. Then letter didn't arrive yesterday. We live it in Glasgow. Yes. Glasgow. For six years. Okay, for six years, but now we live in Singapore. Okay, excellent. So you can see that there we have the, some, well, we have more examples. Have you ever been to Spain? ¿Alguna vez has ido a España? Es decir, en su vida hasta la fecha, hasta ahora. Have you ever been to Costa Rica, for example? It would be different if I ask, did you go to Costa Rica last year? ¿Fueron a Costa Rica el año pasado? Some of you would say yes, or some others would say no. Okay, then we have, my friend is a writer. He has written many books. Mi amigo es escritor. Él ha escrito muchos libros. O sea, es algo que él ha hecho desde, digamos, 10 años, 10 años atrás, pero aún sigue escribiendo libros. Diferente sería, bueno, con el ejemplo que tengo acá, Shakespeare wrote many plays and poems. Aquí ya estoy usando el pasado simple. ¿Por qué? Porque ya Shakespeare cannot continue writing. He already passed away. Okay? So then we have the letter hasn't arrived yet. La carta no ha llegado aún. O sea, seguimos esperando la carta o digamos el recibo, la factura, etc. The letter didn't arrive yesterday. La carta no llegó ayer. Okay? Then we have, we lived in Singapore for six years. We live there now. Hemos vivido en Singapur por seis años. Es decir, que todavía estamos viviendo allí. We lived in Glasgow for six years, but now we live in Singapore. O sea, aquí ya tengo lo que es una acción en pasado. Es decir, que vivíamos en Glasgow o vivimos en Glasgow por seis años, pero ahora vivimos en Singapur. No sé si esto está claro o si tienen preguntas o dudas. Bueno, yo este no sé con respecto a los verbos. Ajá. Eh, ahí sí sería como que solamente aprendiéndose los tiempos. Porque en, en presente perfecto, o sea, es writing. Pero ese es el en tu forma, eh, ¿cómo se le dice? Ajá. En past participle o past simple. Growth. Eso este, me confunde, a mí no sé vaya. cómo podría diferenciar. ¿Están viendo Road este es listado? Vaya, estoy ahorita viendo lo que es un listado de verbos regulares e irregulares. No sé si los logran ver. Yes. Yes, ok. Yes, teacher. Yes. So you can see that here we have the base form. Tengo acá lo que es el base form. Luego tengo el pasado simple que es este, bueno, es toda esta columna y tengo lo que es el pasado participio. Cuando yo estoy hablando en pasado simple, voy a utilizar los verbos que están en la segunda columna, ¿ok? Es decir, en pasado simple. Y cuando uso lo que es presente perfecto, utilizo los verbos en participio. Por ejemplo, tenemos, o mencionaba ahí el verbo escribir. That is here, ¿ok? Right. Aquí está en su forma base o presente. Wrote, que es el pasado. Y written, que es el participio. Como está acá. He has written many books. Él ha escrito muchos libros. 
Y en cambio acá tengo que Shakespeare escribió muchas obras y poemas. Y me voy a listar otra vez. Sorry. ¿Dónde está mi listado? Ok, hold on. Vaya, si me voy al listado, acá pueden ver que está el pasado y está el participio. Es decir, que cuando yo esté usando lo que es el presente perfecto, los verbos que voy a utilizar son los que están en esta tercera columna. ¿Ok? Y sí, es de okay. aprendérselo prácticamente. Todos estos verbos, si son irregulares, la única forma que nosotros tenemos es memorizarlos. ¿Ok? Ahora bien, si son verbos regulares, por ejemplo, tengo want. Wanted, wanted. Um, I have welcome, welcomed, welcomed. ¿Ok? Lo único que tengo que hacer es aplicar reglas del, de verbos regulares, es decir, si le agrego solo ed, o si tengo que cambiar lo que es la y, sustituirlo por una ied, o si duplico la última consonante y luego agrego ed, pero eso es solo con los verbos regulares. Ya de ahí con los irregulares, sí, solamente es de memorizarse. Ok, thank you, Araceli. You're welcome. No sé, con ustedes, a ustedes no sé si les he compartido esta lista. O fue a otro grupo. Yo no la tengo. So probably it was another group. Ah, yes. otro grupo, me yeah. equivoco yo. Ok, so sorry. So I'll send it to you in a few minutes. Ya se la voy a mandar para que la tenga. Porque igual ahí está ya lo que es la traducción. So you can see. We have begin, begun, begun. Ok, teacher. Ajá. La, la teacher que tuvimos en el curso pasado nos mandó también una tabla de, de verbos regulares e irregulares. Ah, ok. Cabal el PDF. <ríe> sí, sí, sí. Bueno, pero para los que no lo tienen, eh, lo más ideal es que lo manden. Yo no la tengo. Wait. Ok. Excellent. So I'll share it with you. O sea, la voy a compartir entonces. Y ahí ya tienen lo que son las traducciones también para que puedan trabajar con ellos. Ok. So, let's go to the exercises. Vámonos entonces a los ejercicios. It says, use the words in brackets to answer the questions. We have, have you seen Anne? Y tengo acá, five minutes ago. Veamos. Bueno, ahí está el ejemplo. Yes, I saw her five minutes ago. Um, let's see, number two, Edwin. Have you start, started your new job? Um, yes, I started uh, last week. I start or I started? I started last week. Okay, thank you. Uh, let's see who's next. Let me check. Stephanie, number three. How your friends arrived? Um, yes, they... Uh -huh. Arrived, arrived. They yes, arrived they arrive at five o'clock. Okay, excellent. Let's see the next one. Um, Walter. Walter. Yes. Um, is um, has Sarah gone away? Yes. She, yes, she went. Uh -huh. She went? Away. On Friday, I'm sorry, on Friday. Okay, thank you. Yes, she you. went on Friday. 
Let's see the next one. Jocelyn Marroquin. Okay. Have you grown your new shoes? Yes, I... I need to just uh, I was. Uh huh. Yes. 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 I was. You choose yesterday. Uh, then yesterday. Yeah, because we're talking about shoes. Remember that you can um, change or substitute the. Now that we have four and up the pronoun. Okay. Okay, thank you. So let's see the next part. Give me a few seconds. Okay. Okay, so the second exercise says right or wrong. Correct the verbs that are wrong. Okay, vamos a ver las oraciones que tenemos acá, los verbos que están subrayados. Y tenemos que ver, ¿verdad?, si la oración está correcta o no, si los verbos están correctos o no. So, let's begin with number three. Let me see. Um, Verónica. I finish my work at two o'clock. Ajá. Yes. Is it correct? Yes. Do you agree with her? Hmm. ¿Están de acuerdo okay. con ella que está correcta? Sí, no, ¿por qué? Es or I think because, because finished uh, the work at two or clock. Okay. Ya Ex terminó. Excellent. Entonces, ¿cómo me quedaría? I finished my work at two o'clock. Okay, excellent. Sería en pasado simple. Okay, let's see, number four. Number four, let me see Abigail. I'm ready now. I finished my work. Is um, is right? Okay, excellent. This one is right. Yeah. Oops, sorry. Okay, let's see the next one. Um, let me check. Let me see, Walter. Yes. Number five. Mm -hmm. What I have finished to go. What I have finished to go. If. It's right. I guess. So you guess or you're sure? ¿Estás seguro que está correcta? What time do you finish? Yes. Okay, so how about the others? Do you agree with him? No. Why not? Because have is grown. Okay, so what is going to be the correct uh, answer, Delia? What time do you finish your work? Do or did? 
Ah, did you finish your work? Finish your work. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Let's see. Number six. Uh, Monica. Mónica, what happened to her? Is she here? Bueno, recuerdo que la había visto. Ok. Um, Giselle, number six, can you tell us if it is correct or if it's wrong? Ok. Sue isn't here. She's gone out. Is right. Ok. Why? ¿Por qué está correcta? Because in this moment she is... Uh, okay. eh, eh, el verbo gone... Ah, uh, no. Oh, yes. Yes, it is correct. Está correcta, pero como decía ya Stephanie, estamos hablando que en este momento ella no se encuentra. Ok. Excellent. So let's see the next one, Edwin. Jim's grandmother has died in 1989. Mm, let me see. I think wrong. Why? No. Eh, no sé si iría con Dios con where died no died. solamente died ¿por qué? porque estamos hablando de algo que ya que ya, ya pasó correcto okay. ok and the last one Saúl Where have you been last night? Uh -huh. Is it correct? Yes, no, and why? No. Right. Okay, so if you can see, sorry, you can see that here we have last night. Estamos hablando de anoche. Si tenemos lo que son adverbios de tiempo. Es past, simple past. Okay, it is simple past. ¿Cómo me quedaría entonces la pregunta? Where did well. you... Where did you? Nope. Estoy usando el verbo to be. Where are you? Are you? En pasado. Was. Where. Was. Was. Where. 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 Where were you? Last night. Last night. Ajá. Creo que nos hace falta repasar lo que es el pasado simple del verbo to be. Yes. Ajá. Ok. Sí, la pregunta nos quedaría, where were you last night? Ok, y eso serían prácticamente las respuestas. Ahora bien, ¿ha quedado esto claro o tienen preguntas?
Or do you think that we need more practice? Yes. Yes. So we need more practice. practice. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes, we need to practice more. Tenemos que practicar más entonces lo que es el presente perfecto con el pasado simple. Pero veo que más que todo el problema está con los verbos. Es de memorizarlos, de aprendérselos, ¿verdad? Para que ya después todo se les haga más fácil. Yes. Ok. Con respecto a la plataforma, ¿cómo estamos? Finish. Yo ya voy por la 5, por la sección 5. Ok, excelente. Para los que ya terminaron, oh, perfecto. Ah, oh, bueno. Hacer el examen, voy. Hacer el examen, ok, perfecto. Vaya, sí, les preguntaba porque recuerden que tenemos hasta el jueves a la medianoche para terminar lo que es todos los ejercicios, para terminar todos los ejercicios. Ok. Ok. Ok, teacher. ¿Y han tenido problemas con ellos o está todo claro? No sé si averiguó, teacher, si ah, recibió el módulo 3. Siempre. Ajá. Siempre me sale el 87% en el, en el progreso. Y ya lo terminó todo. De la primera sección, sí. Va, permítame. Vaya, con la pregunta que usted hacía, Janet. Sí. Va, permítame, quiero ver. Sí, porque tengo entendido que sería ya hasta para el otro año, para el enero. Sí. Es que hoy me mandaron un mensaje al WhatsApp. Este, para que llenara nuevamente el formulario y mandara la documentación. Ok, sí, de hecho estaba viendo también que la fecha tentativa es en enero de 2021. Sí. Entonces quiere decir que ya terminando lo que es el día jueves, quedaríamos de vacaciones a la espera de la confirmación para el siguiente módulo, ¿verdad? Okay. Thank you, You're welcome. Y con usted, yo se le indica que siempre le sale lo que es el 87%. Sí, teacher. Vaya, y ha visto que todo lo, todas las secciones estén en verde. Sí. Ok, bueno, vamos a averiguar entonces qué es lo que ha pasado, porque a mí a veces me sucede que no me lee el objetivo, no me lo marca. Y eso hace que mi progreso no me lo dé al 100. Pero vamos a averiguar entonces qué ha pasado ahí. ¿Ok? Teacher. Te voy a mandar captura, teacher. Va, perfecto. Eh, teacher. Voy a dar una repasada. Eh, yo tengo que decir algo. Ajá. Sí, <risa> Stephanie. Es que igual a mí me pasaba porque solo había hecho las primeras partes del final tech test. Y me salían que estaba en 85%. Hasta que ya lo finalicé, me salió en sí. Ajá. Según entiendo, yo Jocelyn no lo ha terminado el final test. Entonces, supongo que es por eso. Que por eso sea. Uh -huh. Va, vamos a ver entonces. ¿Alguna otra pregunta o consulta? No. No. Ok. So no, if, no, no. Bye. Entonces, si no hay más preguntas, nos quedamos hasta acá y nos vemos hasta mañana, primero Dios. Ok. See you tomorrow. Okay. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you. Bye. 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 Bye.